housing, you know, dealing with public safety and other pressing issues of the day. But that, that, you know, this is where the end of that road leads. It looks like Mayor Adams is exiting the courtroom. Let's see if he speaks to reporters. The mayor entered a plea of not guilty. He's innocent. The second thing that happened in court today is that we let the court know that next week we'll be filing a motion to dismiss. We expect these charges to be dismissed. You all remember the Brian Benjamin case, similar shaky theory. That case was dismissed. Same prosecutors, same theory. But the spectacle of this so exciting to them that they wanted to bring another one of these cases. This case isn't even a real case. This is the airline upgrade corruption case. The third thing we said is that we demand that they bring exculpatory information and the discovery to court on Wednesday. As you know from looking at the indictment and from what happened in court, there are no emails, text messages, or any corroboration whatsoever that the mayor knew about anything having to do with these campaign donations. The entire body of evidence is one staffer, one staffer that says there was a conversation. What you have not learned is that that staffer has lied and the government is in possession of that lie. When that staffer was first interviewed, that staffer said that Mayor Adams knew nothing about this, he was not involved in this, and that he is innocent. They have that information. They have not turned that over to us. They have not turned that over to you. And so it sort of does not surprise us that they did not answer any questions at that press conference, their little press conference the other day. They have no answer for any of these questions. And they didn't want to stick around from questions either. Questions like, why are they doing this? Why are they targeting him? The questions you all started to ask as they were leaving. They normally answer questions. They didn't want to stay for questions in this case. And they left and they made this assertion or this, they implied that somehow he's disappointing people or that people ought to be disappointed in him. It's not him doing this. It's the government, the other government that everybody should be disappointed in, bringing this case against the sitting mayor. I don't have anything further today. Um, and thank you all. If Hope calls on you to resign, will you? Do you think free hotel room? So there you have it. Mayor Adams not speaking himself, but rather his lawyers speaking after this arraignment where he entered a plea of not guilty. A lot of news cameras outside of the courthouse, of course, and you could see the mayor now getting into his car, getting away from it here. And he also, again, as Dan Rivley was telling you, he has other events on his calendar for today. So again, you're seeing this live picture, the mayor leaving the courthouse. Let's break down what we just heard. Uh, Bern, I'll start with you because you did mention that.